I'm Dr. Justine Lee, and I'm a board-certified emergency critical care veterinary specialist and toxicologist, and this is my own dog, Milo. What we're going to talk about today is how to induce vomiting in dogs. Now, before I begin, I do have to say you should never induce vomiting in your dog without talking to your veterinarian, an emergency veterinarian, or the ASPCA Animal Poison Control Center first. And that's because sometimes it's wrong to induce vomiting. For example, if your dog's already showing clinical signs of a poisoning, they're really agitated, their heart is racing, they're tremoring or seizuring, they're already showing signs and it's way too late to induce vomiting. So we never induce vomiting in symptomatic dogs. The second time where we never induce vomiting is if it's a caustic or corrosive substance. So if your dog got into bleach or they got into a really corrosive chemical, we don't like to induce vomiting because when it burns the esophagus or the stomach, when we induce vomiting, it could burn coming back up. The third situation where we never induce vomiting is if your dog has an underlying medical problem that could make them at risk for aspiration pneumonia. In other words, they aspirate the vomit into their lungs. So if your dog has a history of having a disease called mega esophagus or laryngeal paralysis, we don't want to induce vomiting at home because they're more at risk for vomiting and aspirating that into their lungs. If your dog has a really smushed face, in other words, if it snores at night, it's what we call brachiocephalic. So breeds like pugs or shih tzus, even boxers, if they snore, we don't normally induce vomiting. I'd rather a veterinarian do it at their clinic because it'll be safer. Now when we induce vomiting, the only safe thing you can use at home is hydrogen peroxide. So if you have first aid grade, which is usually a 3% solution, you can go ahead and dose it when you talk to your veterinarian. So what dose are we gonna use? We usually use two teaspoons per 25 pound dog. You never wanna give more than four to five tablespoons total because it's way too much and it can cause really severe clinical signs. So again, always check with your veterinarian first. When we induce vomiting at home in dogs, the only thing that we recommend is hydrogen peroxide. We never wanna use syrup of Ipecac or salt or mustard or anything else that you read on the internet. The only safe thing is hydrogen peroxide. Now, I like to use a new bottle of peroxide. You wanna make sure it's a 3%, that it's not expired, and when in doubt, just pour some down the sink. You should hear bubbling like a seltzer. If you don't hear any bubbling, it's not gonna work. So you wanna make sure it's fresh, bubbly hydrogen peroxide. How are we gonna give hydrogen peroxide? The easiest way is by using a turkey baster or a syringe. And so, just for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna use water in the syringe, and I'll show you how to dose it. Gently lift their head, and you're just gonna lift their lip and put the syringe in the corner of their mouth and just gently and slowly syringe it into their mouth. You might notice a small amount leaking out, but you'll notice that they'll start to swallow the hydrogen peroxide. Good boy. Good boy. You'll also notice some foaming at the mouth and that's the peroxide starting to work. If you don't feel comfortable inducing vomiting, get to your veterinarian or your emergency veterinarian immediately.